YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back, and it's j and Exotics. It's nice to see you guys after well over two years. Um, I made an explanation video uh, where I've been. If you guys have seen it, great. If you don't want to see it and don't want to watch it, you don't have to. You're a free-range human beings. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's uh, things are crazy. My hair is long now. I'm growing a mustache. I'm almost 30. Time's flying by. It's crazy. But that's not why we're here today. <laughs> Let's, uh, today we're going to be talking about Central Banded Geckos and their care. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Central Banded Geckos, or Coleonyx mitratus, are a terrestrial ground-dwelling gecko that can be found in Central America, primarily from Costa Rica to Guatemala. They can be found in both semi-arid regions and humid forests. They are a very hardy species which allows them to thrive in captivity. There are a variety of members in the Coleonyx genus, and they all share similar characteristics. Their body colors vary from shades of tannish yellows and purplish browns, depending on the individual. Their bold black outlined yellow bands and spots make them appear similar to leopard geckos in a sense. Coleonyx mitratus are a fairly small species, staying around 4 to 5 inches long. Housing a single individual in a 10 to 15 gallon enclosure is ideal. Since they are nocturnal, they'll spend the majority of their day hiding under leaves and branches. During the nighttime hours, they can be very adventurous and they will utilize every square inch of their tank. Replicating the forest floors that they live in with sphagnum moss, leaf litter, cork rounds, and branches will make the geckos feel safe and give them places to hide and sleep. The branches will act as a jungle gem for them to climb on. A live planted bioactive enclosure is ideal for this species. As mentioned before, these geckos will spend the majority of the daytime in humid microclimates under branches and trees. Using sphagnum moss and a good jungle mix substrate that holds humidity is essential for them. While we're talking about humidity, let's talk about the tank's ambient humidity and tank temperatures. The ambient humidity in the tank should be kept around 50 to 60%. Depending on how dry your house is, missing their enclosure at least once a day is adequate for these guys. A shallow water dish in the enclosure will keep the humidity up and it will also provide clean water for them to drink. The ambient tank temperature should be kept around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, while in the hot spot, it should be kept around 88 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Although they don't require a special type of lighting, providing the species with a 5.0 jungle UVB at a safe distance away could be beneficial. Identifying whether your central banded gecko is a male or female is actually quite simple. Males have femoral pores between the back legs, and they also have bulges at the base of their tails. If housing multiple geckos, multiple females tend to get along. Never house two males together. If choosing to handle these geckos, I'd proceed with caution. On top of their small size, they can be very skittish and jumpy. I'm only holding them over the tank just for the sake of this video. Other than that and the occasional interaction, they're mainly a display pet for me. Coleonyx mitratus will drop their tail as a defense mechanism when threatened. Their tails actually help them when hunting and when maneuvering obstacles. According to Oxford University study on their cousins, Coleonyx variegatus, the Coleonyx tail is necessary for counterbalancing their bodies. Central banded geckos are insectivores. This species doesn't get big at all, so adults will eat quarter inch dubia roaches, crickets, or smaller mealworms. Be sure to gut load your feeders, as well as use calcium and vitamin dusters. When feeding, I drop about 7 to 10 crickets per feeding. Too many crickets roaming around the tank could potentially stress out the geckos. Juveniles should be fed every day, while adults should be fed every other day. This species is fun to watch explore their enclosures, and overall, I think they're a nice addition for anyone's collection. They're low maintenance and an excellent choice for beginners who want to get into the hobby. Well, there you guys have it. That is my video on Central Banded Geckos, and it feels good to make videos again. Um, I will be making more. I don't have an upload schedule set. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I, I greatly appreciate you. And uh, if you guys are new here and you want to check out more of the channel, old videos, and everything else, smash that subscribe button. And uh, thank you very much. I'll see you all in the next one.